Are you ready for Candy Makers Gone Wild? Look at him. Oh, we caught him in his natural habitat. He looks very surprised. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so we're kind of what we're calling back in stock season, meaning we have some of the things that we have been missing for a while because they, they take those extra steps so we don't get to make them, we just stick to our basics. So if you are on a road trip here this summer, if you do pop in, we encourage you to what? put a pin in the map, especially if you're from Montana. Hello, Montana, let's get some representation. Canada's beating you. Can't have that. Um, you happen. can sign our guest book. We'd be, love to have you sign our guest book. We have a whole bunch of them. Please feel free. So we have a few things now that are back in stock that we haven't had for quite some time. Cow chips is one of them. So we've got a half milk dipped cow chip, also dipped in white. So mm. yay. And we've been keeping up on the nut clusters better. And I noticed because you folks have been ordering more of them because um, we've taught some of our, the folks that usually help up front with wrapping, we've taught some of them how to do the cluster making it back. So we're, we're Keeping up on the clusters better. We're keeping up on the, um, we're catching up on the hard candies. So we have, we have more flavors in stock now. The fruit and friendly is just a, a mainstay, an absolute staple that we have. We try not to run out of just like grocery stores shouldn't run out of bread and milk. We shouldn't run out of fruit and friendly hard candy. Um, ghost pepper, if you want, if you're up for a challenge, this is hot stuff, folks. So if you do get the ghost pepper, this is brand new, but if you do get that, we want you to put your reaction on social media and hashtag it. Hercules Candy GPC. Hashtag Hercules Candy GPC. Go with pepper candy. Um, we got our, we've got our tie-dye, our cotton candy, and I think this week, oh, hot stuff. That's a lot of people have been waiting for the hot stuff. So this is just flavors of spicy hard candy. It's not burn your face off. It's just kind of spicy. So the, the, we've got mango tahini, cucumber serrano, pineapple jalapeno, watermelon jalapeno, watermelon tahini, and chipotle lime. That one is new and that one's pretty darn spicy because we used chipotle instead of chili oil. Last time we tried it with hot chili oil and it didn't really work out, made it a weird consistency that we couldn't pull out so we went with chipotle powder. And we did PBJ ribbon candy. So it's jelly flavors of ribbon candy filled with actual peanut butter. So that comes in grape, strawberry, raspberry, cherry, and blueberry. So we finally got that, and we still have in stock right now green apple with caramel, chocolate with pecans and caramel, and peanut butter flavored, filled with chocolate and peanut butter. And for more pizza resistance, I mean, PS de resistance, <laughs> um, the fruit and nut bars, we're, we're frequently out of those, so we have those right now. So this is just dark chocolate with almonds, hazelnuts, cranberries, and raisins, so kind of like trail mix with chocolate holding it together. Um, the polar bear patties, sometimes we're out of those, so we've, we've got a whole bunch of those. Peppermint patty covered in dark chocolate and then covered in white chocolate. The Nutter Butters were pretty good about keeping up with, but this one, the peanut butter fluff cups, these are the ones that are so hard to keep in stock. So we have them right now. They the are definitely my favorite. Yes. In the snack clubs, these I believe are Greg's favorite. Really? So, yeah. So you tried those for the first time a couple days ago, right? The yeah. peanut butter and fluff, and you're yep. you're a believer. I'm yeah. I'm well, hooked. Greg's a believer in the snack club. <laughs> so the last kind of the last holdout for fun stuff that we try to have as soon as uh, the busy time is over is turtle pops. Mm. So we'll be doing turtle pops next, which that's a marshmallow dipped in caramel, then chocolate, then rolled in pecans, and put on a stick because food on a stick is more fun. <laughs> it just is. And the berry cherry creams. We've been trying real hard to keep up on those, and we we might have kind of found a system now to, to finally do that. And even the peanut butter filled hearts. Um, love is always in season. It's not just Valentine's. So, true. so we do have peanut butter hearts right here. Right now we have them in crunchy and in smooth. And it's just, you just the difference is on the label on the back. Now I told you back in season season, well we're, we just made brittle last week, but we're already running low on it because I mean, if you only make 250 pounds of brittle, how long do you, you think it's going to last for a week? <laughs> it's not. But it's the chocolate covered we're kind of running low on, too. So we're going to be making more brittle this week because we're almost out of the chocolate covered cashew, almost out of the chocolate covered peanuts. And then um, the pecan, we've kind of run low on that, so we're making that. We have one guy who comes in here once or twice a week. His name is Bob. And we have named him Brittle Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets at least two pounds of brittle and a pound of creams every week and he's not a big guy he's burning it off he mows lawns 
He's burning it off mowing the lawns. Oh, nice. So, yeah, so Brittle Bob is fueling his lawnmower with candy. <laughs> 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 but he really, he's wanting for the pecan, and we're also out of smoked almonds, so we will be hitting the brittle this week. Mm. And uh, so that's kind of what I have to say about the store. And Every this can all be online, too? All oh, yeah, everything's there? online on our website, HerculesCandy.com. The, the cow chips that cow Terry chips mentioned. Half dipped in white chocolate and milk chocolate. And these euros don't do that much, right? No, we don't. I'm gonna say it's I haven't been seen quite a these. While. I have not seen these yet. So how do they? They just I'm go into bag bags. Them. They come in four ounce and eight ounce. Let me see if they're gonna. Let's see what we got here. Not quite. No. What What do you have to shoot for for this? Four. Four point two. Four point two. Yep. You can go about two over point two. Yes. Look like this. That's Who came up with the label for these? Terry. I like the label for them. And that's the four ounce label. Moo. Moo? Moo. <laughs> Do you like the cow chips? I like the regular milk chocolate chips, but these are mm. good because it's got the combo of the white and the milk. So if you like white chocolate, these are, yes. these are for you. Now I have to fold this down like that, very neatly. They're loud back there, aren't they? Oh, they're too what happy. They what are they doing back there? Shipping. Sounds like a party. There's that one, and then this is an eight-ouncer. Hmm. Busy day here today, huh? Yes, it is. Mondays. Yep. Mondays. Hi, is there, Scott. Is there a party back here? What's uh... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe. 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 We had all the streamers and stuff. We had to take it down. Oh, okay. Because we knew you were coming, so. I figured something happened because it got quiet as soon as I walked <laughs> around the corner. We're, we're talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, world. you're entering Watch the party. Out. This one is okay to ship. Wow. I am the party. You are. Yeah, it's she true. brings the party. A shipping party. She brings the party everywhere she goes. So what do you? Uh, how many orders did you guys have today? Mm, I think Terry said there's like 102. But that no, was I was gonna guess a hundred. Wow! Like on Saturday, we we did a lot of these ahead of time, like packed them up. But then today we put cold packs in them. So, oh. so some of them were already basically ready. Oh, okay. And so then some of them were new. Putting the cold packs in. Yeah, there might have been like fifty new ones or something. Huh. Yeah. Well, are you guys coming down to the end of the day then? Yeah. For like yeah we're, almost, we're almost done. We're selling it basically. <laughs> yeah, I figured. What did they get? Off the top of your head, or do you? Remember? I have to look. I don't remember. <laughs> it was still five minutes ago. Very cherry creams. Oh, fluff cups. Ooh. These PB uh -oh. fluff. Uh oh, what happened? These people got the ghost pepper. Risky business here. Wow. Did they just get one package of it? They just got one, and then they got a lot of vegan stuff to go with it, probably to help mellow it out a little right, bit. Right. Yeah. We should sell like gallons of milk here. <laughs> if we're gonna, if we're just send a that. pint of ice cream with yeah. the ghost <laughs> yeah. pepper candy. <laughs> Taylor, you, yeah, you you tried it. So did I you, did try did it. You, did you get any of your friends to try it? Um, no, not yet because I forgot it in my apron. Oh, <laughs> but okay. I did. I did bring a couple. I'm gonna try to get them to try it. Do you think they will? Are they like? It's hard to of, say. Can they handle spicy things? I feel like they'll end up spitting it out because mm. it just hurts after a while. I was gonna say you spit it, it out. Yeah, I spit it yeah, out. Yeah, I was gonna say so, yeah. And I love spicy stuff, so I don't know. I don't know. It really lingers. It doesn't did it, you spit it out? Eventually, I had it in my mouth for like five minutes, and I was like, "This is kind of like torture after a while." So, <laughs> is your tongue hurting? That's spicy. It just feels that really, really spicy. like it's on fire. <laughs> What's the point? Like food, I'm like, yeah, yeah, spicy food. You keep eating it, and you get something out of it. But hard candy, I feel like it's just sitting there. And the orange part was good. Don't get me wrong. Like, right. I just don't. For me, spicy candy's not really my thing. I like spicy food. But. I got more party favors here. More party favors. There has to be streamers or something in there. Oh yeah, totally. Let's see. Sea salt almond bark, oh. green apple caramel ribbon, cotton candy, hard candy, and sea salt caramels. I was expecting to open an empty box. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's why I thought it would have so been funnier. So we got, we got them ready on Saturday because you know we okay. have to order on Saturday, and we just get it ready, and then uh, we pack it today. So. Where's this one going? Um. It needs an ice pack. Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, the ice pack's right there. Yep. Perfect. 
So do you guys like using this better than the bubble wrap then? Yeah. Or the uh, the peanuts. Oh, that's yeah, what you they're... said? Yeah, the peanuts. We still use bubbles. Like I, I put pa I make sure that there's paper wadding around the chocolate and the ice pack, and then around that I can put bubbles. Oh, okay. So you just you're using this in, in place of the peanuts. Yeah. Do you like that better? Yeah, I think there's less uh, less mess of the peanuts. A lot of times I would knock peanuts on the ground too, and then you gotta yeah. pick them all up. Like it was. It's a cleaning thing, you know. It's just. Adds and, more processes. and they'd stick to your hands sometimes. You're just because the <laughs> static. You're just like trying to get it off all the time. It's you can reuse these. I mean, not that you can't reuse peanuts, but I feel yeah. like this is maybe more eco-friendly because you can recycle plastic at yeah. certain places, like at the nearby grocery store, Wegmans. You can recycle plastic. Yeah. So I'm sure there's other you know states that have that too. So hmm. whereas styrofoam peanuts, it's like what do you? Yeah. Those are just so bad for the environment. So we finally found See? a. Better solution, that's so. And that's good, I like yeah. this. So what kind of chocolate is this? Why is it pink? Ruby chocolate. Why is it pink? It's special chocolate from Nestle. Okay. From, uh, what from is Ruby? Nestle's. Is Ruby usually red? Pink? I mean, Ruby's red. Red, right? But it's like, a, compared to other chocolate, I would say that's pretty That's red. what they're calling it, is Ruby. Oh, okay. It's not totally pink. It's yeah, it's not totally pink. Like it is a gold. Yeah, I see that too. I was gonna say it's more darker. It's like a nice rose. It tastes uh, fruity. Tastes like fruity. pink. A lot so like tastes white fruity chocolate. and yeah, like like, like white, chocolate. white. Yeah. yeah. Does it taste like red or it tastes like pink? It tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like pink. It does. <laughs> That's. I, I guess <laughs> if we have to choose. Then I'm do, gonna do almonds and cherries bars. These are just cherry bars. Then I'm gonna make almond clusters with this. Oh. Ruby chocolate. Oh, really? Yeah. You're doing like multiple different things with this. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I've never seen you do these yet. Yeah, I don't do them very often. Huh. And this is another is extra, popular? another extra thing that we don't get to do on and during the that season. That we get to do now, right? Yeah. Just like uh, peanut butter cups and uh, um, fluffer nutter cups and. Yeah, I finally got to try those. We don't, during the regular season, during the winter months, we can't get to them. Because we have so many other things to do with I've been, I was waiting for those uh, peanut butter fluff cups for so long. You guys mentioned them, and then, you know, I finally got to uh, experience what they taste like, so. And they were awful. Everything you thought they'd be. No, yeah, they were absolutely perfect. <laughs> they were by far one of the best things I've ever tasted in my life. What those uh, peanut butter, the peanut butter fluff cups? Yeah, yeah. They're he so was cool. out in his car, and we with didn't whole, know where he was. With a whole tray of yeah, with a tray of them. He tried to get us. He's he got chocolate like, on he's like, his can face. You just do like one, like six of them, start to finish, so we can film, and then we see him in his car with them. Like, yeah, for filming. <laughs> yeah, that's good. For filming, I promise. I mean, there's some out there right now on the floor. Like, I, I could just take the whole bucket. And just run away. <laughs> and run away. I could just, just keep running. Just sprint. <laughs> and just keep running. <laughs> I'll never stop until they're until I'm done eating until them. Done, then then I can you stop eating. <laughs> then have a cramp. And then run back. But you're definitely gonna have a cramp if you keep continuously running <laughs> and eating those at the same time. I think you might not make it. Yeah. I don't know. You better prepare then. Get in shape. Eat fifty. <laughs> eat fifty cups while doing a quarter mile. That's the new food challenge. Wow. And not throwing up. And not throwing yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> New challenge alert. New challenge. <laughs> so what's the difference between that mold and then the mold with the these ones right here? Well, we made them different because we want them to keep them separate so that we know just by looking at them that the, this will be the almond and cherry. Because it oh, so Okay, that makes sense, yeah. And maybe this one's, well, no, it's just cherry. Huh. Well, it looks good. You betcha. Are you a fan of these? Yeah, these are good. Are these popular on the site? Yeah. I just can never get back to them hardly. You never have time for them? Yeah, it's hard to do all this stuff. Greg's over there making all that noise. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. What is your job over here, Greg? I'm just cutting up some Rice Krispies for enrobing them. We're doing some chocolate-covered Rice Krispies. 
I'm gonna do some dark chocolate ones today. Yeah, dark. Yeah, not just Rice Krispies. Rice Krispie treats. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, you're doing dark chocolate and milk chocolate? No, just dark chocolate. Yeah, nice. just dark chocolate. And then I'm doing some pretzels later as well. We just did some milk chocolate ones already. I kind of made some guiding lines on there, but for some of them, they're not too Let's straight. See Let's see if I can see them on the camera. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, so right there. But it's kind of just there so I can get a kind of general guess on how big the sizes are. Yeah. But... It's noisy here today. It is. <laughs> a little bit. Bang Not as bad. What, what were, oh, the peanut the peanut butter cup days. Everyone's slamming molds <laughs> on the table, making a ton of noise. Those are had, great. And then you had Steve hammering the uh, oh, candies. The, yeah, the... the orange hard candies for the orange the orange cream bark. That Someone's is... sitting here. Someone's sitting there. Steve's at the table, and then there's two there's two people over there making like nut cups. Steve's banging with a hammer. Cooper's <laughs> banging with a mold. I'm banging with a mold. It's just... <laughs> it's it's, it's 9.30 in the morning. And the washer was on, so yeah. like that was a noise. Just another noise. It was a loud Friday last week, that's for sure. This what is the... my last This is my last bit right here. I have, wow. uh, I have a bunch of other trays in the enrobing room all ready to go. Nice. Yeah. I'm here. I came in a little later today, so I'm gonna be staying a little late. So you came in late today. I came in at ten o'clock instead of uh, eight o'clock because Cooper, we're doing a new thing with the creams, so we can make more of them each day. So mm. I'm gonna come in a little bit later on cream days, so I can get some of the stuff done that Cooper doesn't get done when oh. he leaves at four o'clock. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Anything to make it a little bit work. easier. Trying to get things all good for when it's Christmas time and we're going crazy. Yeah. There's a lot going on here today. A lot of new stuff, too, I've noticed. Like, Terry gave us a little, uh, you know, tour around the around the shop out there. Right. And, like, the new items that are oh, out yeah. there. Did they, did, you, did they see the cow chips? Oh. Yeah, we saw them on the shelves, too. Word. So, yeah. Have I, you had those? I made those. Have you tried them? I did while I did was you making, buy some, while would, I was making them. I tried one or two. See, the <laughs> ultimate the ultimate thing is, did you buy them after you left? Because that's when you really like them. No, I <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of sweets, so I like that I can try little bits here and there. But I will the snack clubs. Amazing. Terry did also say that these, I believe, are Greg's favorite. The snack gloves are amazing. I've been getting one almost every single day that I leave <laughs> here. They're so good. What is your favorite item that's on the, like the new items that we've done so far? Okay, so like post Easter. Yeah, so like the, the cow chips, the snack clubs, the peanut butter fluff cups. Controversial, but like cow chips are better than regular potato chips. Wow. They, I mean, there is a lot. The thing is, wow. it's a, a lot of chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate on it, and it's really, really good. Yummy. It's like so good. The white if you like, if you like white chocolate, yeah. yeah the white chocolate. Like well, the thing is, there's also the milk really chocolate, like white chocolate on there as that well. much, and it's still really good. Yeah. Oh, really? Because it's like played off with milk chocolate. It's yeah. not just white chocolate. And the sweetness mm. of the chip helps it a whole lot. Like, yeah. not the sweetness, like, the saltiness of the, the chip. Of it. Yeah. I was gonna say, is salt sweet? Yeah. Sometimes. The saltiness of the chip. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I get my words all mixed up all the time. <laughs> That's why you put a camera in our face. You yeah, think it's gonna make no. it any better? Hey, what's going on over here? I just heard you said it's gonna smell like brownies, and I got intrigued. So it's, uh, this is our chocolate buttercream egg uh, cream drops. So it's it's our normal base, and then we put in uh, some just a little bit of butter and our chocolate liqueur. And like mm. chocolate liqueur by itself is really not appetizing, but when you put it into a pot of sugar, it starts to taste really good. And butter. And, but, yeah. And just butter. a little bit of butter. I'm, like, not even just mentioning the butter because it's only five sticks. <laughs> <laughs> so much butter. <laughs> but it's okay. Slowly but surely. I feel like for how much cream is in here, the five sticks isn't really... I don't know what the ratio is. You know, like... Uh, I mean, there's cream, 36 pounds of sugar, like, in between the sugar and the corn syrup. So it's, like, a stick of butter for every... Seven pounds of sugar, I guess. Maybe. Oh, okay. So not. I don't know. Is I can't do that. I don't even know if that's right. <laughs> don't 
don't, yeah. Don't quote me on oh anything. Oh my god, I'm so bad at math. I was probably so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> good fun, though. But it's like, it's 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 a lot of butter, but it makes it taste really good. I'm not yeah. claiming that this is healthy. <laughs> right, yeah. You're not, we're not saying, Never claim like, that this, this is going to give you, like, me. nice, like, benefits other than you're just going to be happy from eating yeah. yummy candy. Mix. Oh, I got my brownie mix and my funnel <laughs> and my steak. You said it was gonna smell like brownies, but I don't know if my nose is just not good or I haven't smelled it. I have to, if you have to be closer or not. You don't smell brownies? No. I think you're just around this stuff too much. Mm, do you? Yeah. My nose blind. You're you're around it more than I am. Yeah, ain't that weird? I can still <laughs> smell it. I don't know what I smell. I don't know. I don't know. Close up, it does kind of smell. It just smells like brownie. I mean, it smells like chocolate and sugar. It definitely has the same exact consistency as brownie mix, though, for sure. Yeah. Like you can see, it's kind of thick. A little thicker. I guess I don't really. Know I'm brownies. curious. What if we did just put this in a brownie tin and like oh, yeah, put it in the oven? <laughs> see what happens. Nothing would happen. It would just come out like this. Really? Probably. <laughs> I feel like it would have to rise or something. There's so what if we just add eggs? Add some eggs, yeah, maybe. Sugar egg. There's no flour in it, so that would be tough. Yeah, that's true. How many uh, trays of these you gotta do? Uh, full batch normally gets me around eight and a half to ten, depending on like how consistent they're dropped. And then what other flavors you gotta do today? I've done orange, and then after this, I'm doing a half batch of cherry and a half batch of butterscotch. This mm. is chocolate buttercream. Chocolate buttercream. One of my favorites. I was gonna say, this does look thicker than most of the other creams. It's a right? little thick. I could heat it up a little bit more. I'm probably gonna, so I can actually run through these faster, but. Oh, so it's just because it's kind of cooling? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's not thicker because of. Temperature wise, I could heat it up a little bit more and it would flow easier. Hmm. One more, you got it. Thank you. Yeah. Looks great. Off to more. We got all these cut up, huh? Yeah, got them all cut up. Oh, almost dropped that one right there. Wow, that was a good catch. <laughs> Thank God that was there. But yeah, just getting them all lined up on the enrobing belt. Just got my chocolate all ready to go. I got uh, one done on the tray over there. That was my little test and run. They look good. Yeah, they look really good. The dark chocolate always looks really, really good when it's like beginning of the day, just started working on it. It's like nice and shiny and velvety. Yeah, looks like it's flowing really good too. Yeah, it is. The dark chocolate and Rover's all uh, is always really good to us, but it's it's that one. This one. Yeah. Sometimes She's it'll predictable. Sometimes it'll work for an entire eight hours. Sometimes it won't work for two <laughs> hours. <laughs> but now you just now send me through. Yep. Yeah. Do these have a hard time coming off the belt? Nah, this is actually like it actually came off pretty good with that first run. I was surprised. I thought that they would have to be a little bit hard, but they're coming through really nice. I thought they were going to have like problems coming off the belt. Yeah, they do with the um, uh, milk chocolate because they don't um, they don't end up actually getting covered with just the one curtain with the milk chocolate oh, yeah. and over. But thankfully, this one has two. Yeah. Sometimes they'll get stuck, but it's nowhere near as bad as like the gummy bears or the chips or something like that. The gummy bears like to get sucked right into there. Yeah, they came out pretty smooth. Yeah, a couple of them get a little bit stuck, but nothing like that at all. The only thing you really got to watch out for is to make sure there's not like any of them connected like these two were. Yeah. That's the only real problem with it. No toppings on these? No, no toppings on these ones. Just oh, nice. sending them right through and then they're good to go. Which is really nice. These are these are really good. Like it's just it's just a chocolate covered rice crispy, but it's so good. Yeah, they look good. I love I wish the dark chocolate kept this like nice shiny glossiness to it. 
I know, it does have a really nice look. But when it dries, it kind of gets like that matte yeah. color of it. Like that matte finish, that nice yeah. deep matte finish of it, but the shininess is just so nice. And then how many trays you got to do with this? Is there a certain number? I have, I don't know how, this is my first time covering these, but I have all those stacked up right there. That oh, I cut so once, up earlier. So once things are done, then you're good? I'm probably going to be doing some pretzels uh, time time willing. Well, I'm yeah. going to probably do some pretzels. What was that? Uh, nothing. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, you caught me. So, Hershey's got in contact with me. I'm big news, big deal. They're trying to get me to put a vinyl decal on my car, I guess. Wow. Pay me weekly, drive around. They pay, I drive. That's what they're saying. That's a, some sort of I don't spam. know how they're getting my dang number. I don't want nothing to do with that Hershey business. <laughs> but I think there's a spy among there has us. To be, there has to be something. A, some sort of spy somewhere. It's Steve, it's got you now. <laughs> it's spying oh, on you. What? Get away from me. I thought, you, I thought you didn't like Reese's. I don't. It just keeps following me. Who put me. this here? He's following me. I think it's listening to I'm us. I'm not kidding. Uh -oh. It just showed up one day. It's got a listening <laughs> device in it. And now uh -oh. it's sending Cooper text messages. It has my phone number somehow. It's trying to get our recipes. <laughs> it's trying to take our peanut butter cup recipe because it knows. We don't want anybody on the internet to know our recipes. No. No. That's why we keep everything in locked doors and we don't make any videos about anything. <laughs> <laughs>